are you ready? Let's go. Ah, not too bad. It's an eight. Let's try another one. Ooh, okay, cool. How about that one? Ooh, draw four. Well, hello there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today, I have an exciting episode for you. We're gonna cover React animations with Lottie. And we can do something like this in under five minutes or so, really. And I'm gonna show you how to hook it up. It's gonna be a super simple process. And I'm also gonna talk about how you can make your own complex animations like this, all right? I also wanna announce that if you know, I moved to the UK and I officially got my UK visa now. So woo, let's go. That means that I can make more content and not worry about getting deported, which is fantastic news as always. So yeah, more videos are gonna be coming out. I'm gonna get onto updating the courses as well, more frequently, new courses as well. And I don't know, I've been thinking about doing live streams. It seems like such a fun thing. I keep watching uh, the Prime Gen and these other guys. And I'm like, I'm busting out, I'm busting out. I really wanna do it. Um, I feel like I'm gonna embarrass myself for some reason, but let me know. Write it down in the comments and I might hop on. Okay, cool. So this is what we're gonna be making and I just installed Vite here, Vite Vite, and I just have my app component right here. So this is how you're gonna start off. Let me just clear everything out here and just leave an empty diff for you like that. All right, so we're gonna say hello React and hit save. Okay, cool. So if we head back here and see, we just have Hello React here and it's centered using a min height screen, all right, which just gives the size of the viewport. We have a flex and item centered to put it in the middle and I just added the font to it, just like that. Cool, so where do we get these animations from? Well, we can head over to Lottie Files and with Lottie Files, they're basically just SVGs uh, that are compressed in this JSON file that you can add to your project. And that JSON file contains basically your paths, your strokes, your colors, and the movement that you want to create. Uh, so if you want to go and get some, uh, you can go here to products and free animations. All right, and there you go. And then you can check all of them out. You can also search for one. I think I searched phone for this one. Yeah, there's loads of them. But anyway, you can click on one and you can hit download up here and get the JSON file. If, I think if you pay for it, you can also get like an optimized version of it here. Uh, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> I ain't paying for changing the color or getting two more kilobytes off. No, thank you. But I mean, if you want to do it, do it. You can also customize the colors, which is easy. It's SVG, so it's really easy to just change the colors to whatever you want. Um, and if you want to create your own, uh, what you can do is use something like After Effects. After Effects is a fantastic program to create these complex animations. And they have a Lottie plugin here that you can just pop into it. If you want to see a tutorial on this, let me know because this is just like After Effects. It would basically be like an After Effects tutorial, right? Uh, but yeah, take a look at this. So. Oh, this is so slow. We're not going to watch this. You lost me. Uh, but yeah, you can use that to create these animations. And if we check a look here, check a look. <laughs> What's a check a look? Uh, I think I've made something here. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, this is some sort of like arrow animation that I made. Cool. There we go. So you can just export this and import it in your own project. Anyway. Out, out of the scope of this video. Okay, cool. So we got one, I downloaded one, and I just plugged it in here in my assets. As you can see, it's a massive, massive file, but I mean, to be honest, it is just like 20 kilobytes. So having that animation for 20 kilobytes is pretty cool. Um, okay, so we have our text here. Hello, React. Let's just change this. Create lovely animations with Lottie, like that. Pop this open and do an MPMI of React Lottie, I believe it's called. Or Lottie React. One of the ways. Uh, Luti React. How do you say it? Luti React, like that. All right. So we're going to install that package. And using that package, we have the ability to basically control our animation and in any way we want. We'll have event handlers that will listen to like on complete. So when the animation finishes, you can loop back around if you want or play from a specific frame. So we have all that control. So I just want to quickly show you that. Okay, so once we have that installed, we'll do npm run dev again. And then all we need to do is import uh, Lottie from 
Latia React, like that. And we also need to import the actual animation data. And that lies in that JSON folder. So we just need to go to, we'll say import animation data. You're gonna see that commonly used. And then we can go over to assets and phone animation like that. Nice. And then we'll go down here and we'll just add the LUTI like that. And this again is gonna take in the animation data. So we'll just pass in the actual JSON like that. Oh, look at that, there it is, cool. So it does work, which is fantastic. Uh, what's, what's with the flex? Something's going on with the flex. Here we go, let's, this div. Okay, we need to pop this in the div here. Boof. Cool, so there we go, look at that. How simple it is to just add a fancy animation to your website. Now, if you wanna have more control over this, what you can do is you can import a ref. So you can do use ref from React. React, there we go. And then here you can just say, const like phone phone animation right and set that equal to use ref like that and here when we're passing it down make sure you're not using ref that you typically use in your react app uh, components uh, they, they made a special prop for this called lottie ref so make sure you just pass that down and then i guess we can name this phone ref that would make more sense and we'll pass that sucker down and hit save now if you get this error here that's it's just the types are not inferred here. So what we can do is here, we'll add a comma. We can actually import, what is it called? Oops, let's add a comma here. Do, 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 do. Interactivity props, Lottie ref current props. This is what we need. So if we import that and we pass it down here into the ref, and we'll add null as the default here. Now it won't error out anymore. But what we can do now here is, let's see, if I hit space, as you can see, you can see all the things that we can do here. I'm just gonna add an on complete. Uh, but they have on start, on complete, on, yeah, loads of different ones. And here we can just run like an arrow function and do something. So what we can do is get that ref. So I can say phone ref, uh, What's wrong with it? Come on, phone ref. There we go, dot current. And look at that. Now we, since we passed down the, the types of the ref, we can see everything that we can do with it. So for example, after the animation completes, uh, what I can do is go to and play. So I can pick a specific frame that we want to start animating to. So let's say I want from frame, once, once it does a full loop, right? I don't want to fully animate this whole page again. So what I do is I'll just animate this wee ring here. So I know that starts around like from frame 45 or so. So I'll just do 45 and I'll just set this to true. And that's the second parameter for that. And then if we hit refresh, as you can see, it's gonna go true. But now on complete, damn, it still does it. What you mean? Okay, there's something wrong with it. Oh, I forgot to set the loop to false. So make sure you do loop false here and then it should work. All right, so now if we check the console here, you're gonna see we get complete when the animation finishes. And now, as you can see, we're only going from here to there like that, cool. What you can also do here, I mean, you can do anything pretty much. I can do on complete, uh, I can use the phone ref current and I can just set the... Let's do set direction. And if I set this to minus one, it's gonna go the other way around. So I can just say phone ref dot current dot play again. And that's just gonna reverse the animation for me. So let's hit space and look at that. Let's go. And as soon as that completes, we go all the way backwards like that, okay? So there's loads of stuff you can do with that. If you wanna learn more, you can head over to React Lottie here. And this website here is gonna show you what you can do but there's not much there's not super much you can do with it to be honest there's a hook here that i would recommend if you're interested in doing uh, scroll based animations you can use this use lottie interactivity and you just add this uh object here where you specify like the visibility and the type of kind of action you want to take do you want to play the animation or you seek maybe when you scroll uh yeah 
loads of great stuff that you can do with it, which is fantastic. Now, I do want to say be wary of this because uh, if I show you my, I did a website here. Uh, okay, so this is like a Wii SSR Next 13 with animations that I made here, okay? So if I just log in quickly here, this is using Clerk as well. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So as you can see, these have animations as well. So if I click on that, it's like a Lottie animation and these as well. But that's a bit more, I guess you could say, subtle. Now be careful when you're doing loads of components like this. And if there, there are some JSON files out there that are like 400 kilobytes. And if you're rendering one out for each component, poo, it's just gonna feel really slow and you're gonna see a box down your web application. So be careful how you use these. Uh, make sure you check the size of it and make sure to also consider how many times you're rendering this out. Uh, because that can cause a potential bottleneck. So yeah, again, something like this is simple. This is what I did here was I'm 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 quite optimizing this quite a bit, um, and it's like a two kilobyte animation that I'm running here, so it's fine. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It's just a wee fun one. Um, yeah, I'd be totally up for making like an After Effects tutorial on how to make your own custom ones because that's where the power lies when you, you're making your own ones that fit into your own website rather than trying to stitch together different animations that other people made. So I think that's a very valuable skill to have if you are, yeah, if you love this type of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support throughout the years. And yeah, check out my courses as well if you're interested in learning a bit more about web development. Okay, I'm off to having a Red Bull and playing Zelda. So I'll see you next time.